Uh, now I'm moving into this central area here, and I'm just suggesting some of this detail of all of the great thicket of branches and trunks. I'm not going to try to get it all, but I do want to suggest how that bougainvillea has grown with multiple trunks and some vines wrapping around some of the branches and trunks. I'm using a brush I just got from Amazon from Japan. It's a, I had never heard of this before, but it's a Kalinsky Sable and it's uh, used by cartoonists over there for their manga artwork. Manga are the Japanese uh, comics that you see everywhere over there. They, uh, comics for children, many for adults. Uh, and uh, it's kind of interesting. It's got a very long brush, meaning it'll carry a lot of uh, water, so it won't run out once you get it wet. You can keep on going with it, and it maintains a sharp point. I think I'm going to use this for other kinds of watercolor techniques, like the one on the left where I'm really doing um, the watercolor in a more of a graphic uh, linear technique. That would be ideal. This brush would be ideal for that sort of approach. Um, it's not so great if you're going to lay down some obviously wide areas of of wash. It's uh, better for work where you need you know, a fine point. Now I'll continue continuing to emphasize certain areas in this part of the painting using dry brush and wet into wet depending on where I am or what effect I'm after. I am trying to define some of the area of foliage without getting too um, busy or confused about it. Sometimes if you think you've taken it or you're going to take it too far, it's a good idea just to set that area aside and move on to the next area of the painting or you can begin to uh, block in certain certain uh, areas. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this over and carry on uh, across the spine of the sketchbook and doing the same process I'll begin simply to block in certain areas like the flower pot over there in the, in the corner anyway I'll block in some areas of color the wall of the house back there and just using some wash technique And uh, and next time we'll continue with this area in here, the flower pot, and other details. But that'll be for next time.